Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Take a couple of good, long, deep, and enough breaths to start out with, and then find a rhythm that feels good for you right now. Pay careful attention to what the body needs right now, because the needs of the body change. Sometimes you need heavy breathing, sometimes you need light breathing. Fast, slow, deep, shallow. So see what the body needs right now. Things like this change. It's like the weather outside. This morning the sun came out and now it's even colder than it was at dawn. But certain things don't change. Like every week they take the precepts to remind ourselves that goodness doesn't change, the Dharma doesn't change. It stays as it always is. The principle that you are going to find happiness through your own actions, your thoughts, your words and deeds, that doesn't change either. And it's good to remember that the goodness doesn't depend on the fashions of the world. If otherwise, we'd be, we'd be running around trying to figure out what's the, what's the latest goodness out there, just the way they were trying to figure out what's the latest fashion. But that's not the way it is with goodness. Goodness is always the same, and that gives us something to rely on, something we depend on. The thing is, we want to make our own minds as dependable as that as well. Take the Dharma in so that you can be dependable, so your goodness doesn't have to depend on things outside. This is why we take the precepts, partly because we know that we're going to not harm other people, but also because it's good for training the mind, to have more mindfulness, more alertness, to be more sensitive to the impact that your actions have on other people. This is why we meditate, to create a sense of stillness, a sense of solidity inside the mind. Because with the changes of the world, the mind needs something to hold on to, otherwise you get blown away. In other words, your goodness gets blown away. But if you hold on to the fact that goodness comes from within, it doesn't depend on what other people outside think. And we're not here to compete with other people. We're here to compete with our own defilements. As the Buddha said, if you have victory over a thousand, thousand other people in battle, it's nowhere near as important as having victory over one person, in other words, victory over yourself. And these principles don't change. This is why they've lasted ever since the Buddha pointed them out. They were actually true before he pointed them out. It's simply the fact that a lot of people hadn't realized that. But now we have someone who's pointed them out. We've got the opportunity to practice a Dharma that doesn't change with fashions, a Dharma that's always up to date. And here's our opportunity right now. Okay, We may change. We may miss this opportunity, which would be a shame. But we can make the most of the opportunity right now. Okay, That's what creates a sense of true, solid, reliable refuge inside. So keep pointing inside, inside. This is where goodness is going to lie. This is where goodness is going to be found. The principles are always the same. Every week you come here, it's the same precepts again and again and again. Not because we can't think of anything else, but because these precepts really are always true. In this changing world, it's good to remember there are some things that don't change. And hold on to the things that don't change so that your goodness won't have to change too. It won't be affected by the ups and downs of the world. Make sure that your goodness doesn't depend on other people. It's something that comes from within. And that way you can live in the world and you can be truly safe. The world is full of aging, illness, and death, and separation. But the goodness we create within us doesn't have to age or grow ill or die, and we're not going to be separated from it. It's nothing that anybody can take away from us. So hold on to that, because that's where true safety lies.